So I'm sitting there trying to mind my own business. He said, so what do you do? <laughs> and I said, I'm a guitarist, I'm a vocalist, I'm in a band and I'm going to Germany to play a festival. <laughs> and I thought that would suffice. But no. And then, of course, after he'd asked me a couple of other inane questions, which I'd answered, there was this sort of pause, and I thought, why am I saying this? These words came out of my mouth, and what do you do? <laughs> and he said, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, karma. I thought, what have I done? What, 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 what have I done? I brought my child up as best I can. You know. It's about all of them half right, still. Anyway, we start talking. And I just thought, okay. So I said, what do you do? And he said, I've got an interesting job. He said, I travel the holy sites. Okay? I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I've just been to your Glastonbury and your Stonehenge. He said, the roll right stones. He said, I've been to the pyramids. I've been to the runways in Peru. He said, oh, that's my job. I said, how does that work? He said, well, we have a department. It's about the second coming. And we're looking for signs. He said, there are signs. He said, did you know the angels have landed? I said, which ones? Aren't there supposed to be two groups? He said, yes. He said, well, which ones do you think? And I thought of a few people. They came to mind. I mean, you'd have to include Rolf Harris and Max Clifford if they weren't here before, wouldn't you? For example. And so on and so on, you know. I used to think Gorge Gorbachev was uh, the marked one, you know, the beast. Because yeah. of his birthmark. A bit sick, really. But he turned out to be all right, Glasnost, Harry Stryker, you know. But when he said that, the dark ones have landed, I thought, you really believe this shit? But I tell you what, if you're an end timer, like Bush's family friends group, for example, you know, the American presidential family, a lot of their mates are oil magnates and end timers. If you believe the time is near, what does it matter if an oil tanker crashes on the rocks, fills the sea with oil because the <coughs> forecast is predicted. The world's gonna fuck up before Jesus comes back. So why not give it a push? A little bit of radiation here, a little bit of plastic in the sea there, you know, that kind of thing. Give it a little push. So I'm listening to all this stuff, and I'm thinking, it's very interesting, but... When I first went to London in about 1968, there was this old boy walking up and down the street with a placard on him, and it said, the end is nigh. And I swear, his grandson's still doing it. So, you know, when you've grown up with all these people saying, we're near the end, you know, and the lamb's going to come back, okay. If you look at the world right now, I mean, no wonder they see the signs. I mean, they're everywhere, aren't they? You know, we're facing doom and destruction, just like it says in the Bible. You know, don't eat prawns on a Tuesday afternoon between three or four o'clock or something, it says in <laughs> Leviticus. You, you know, all that total shit. People sort of basing massive political decisions on it for all I know. You all right, mate? It's all right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's all pretty mad. And then I thought about it. The rapture, that's what the Yanks call it, the rapture. The rapture is when the lamb comes down and he goes, and all the graves with all the good souls in it, in them, fly open and they all fly up. Right? They leave the earth and they ascend to heaven. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to be stuck down here with people like you. <laughs> Aren't I? Yeah. yeah. It's true, isn't it? You, you know yeah. it. I just look at you, I can tell. I can read your aura. So, I wrote a song about the old bastard, and it's called There's a Hole in It. <laughs> the 
Lord. He said, everything is changing. You must have seen the signs. He said, he seen angels landing in the middle of the night. Mama, there's a hole in it. Daddy, there's a hole in it. Baby, there's a hole in it. And I don't know what to do. There's a hole in it, and I don't know what to do. 